are going to Peter Paul Rubens. No, he does not, does not make candy, nor is he related to Pee Wee Herman. He is one of the great Flemish painters of all time. Born in 1577, died in 1640. 1640. He was a, uh, a Baroque painter, which, which has wonderful connotations, uh, a sort of a counter-reformation in some ways painter. And uh, he, his paintings are, if you see a Rubens painting, you'll never forget it. He painted like somebody, like nobody else ever really did. Take a look at the first painting. We did this once before on the Dr. Duke show. And I thought, because we're going to hold, dedicate a whole week to Rubens, I thought we would start again with this. This is the Honeysuckle Bower. This is a beautiful outdoor uh, autobiographical painting. That's Rubens on the left, his wife, Isabel Brandt, on the, on the right. And they were married about 1630, and you can see the elaborate uh, costuming of the day. But unlike so many painters we talk about, we talked about Vincent van Gogh a couple of weeks ago. We talked about other paintings as well. This guy was so prosperous and so good at his job that he was never, never was your starving artist. He never was living in a garret. He, he didn't die in broke poverty like his contemporary Rembrandt did. What an amazing career he had. He was well in demand. He was an a, uh, ambassador. So important was he to his country that his, his king named him an ambassador to other nations of Europe to try to prevent war. Uh, and so here you have him and his young bride. And this whole picture shows confidence, wealth, love. Uh, it's a honeysuckle bower. The, 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 fa the fact that their right hands are joined together, that was a symbol of married fidelity. Uh, you get just the way they look directly into the camera, the beautiful honeysuckle, like I said before, which is a symbol of of love and fidelity to the garden scene that you see there. Uh, just a really, really nice painting of, of the kind that you almost never see paintings. When you see painters painting autobiographical pictures, self-portraits, it's almost always in whimsy or despair. It's almost always uh, in poor circumstances uh, with, with, with oddly contemplative looks on their face, puzzlement. But here you have nothing more than really suburban opulence and wealth. It's a neat change. Uh, and over the next week, we will consider some of the more important paintings of Peter Paul Rubens.